Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here with a quick PSVR 2 news update. As you can see behind me, Sony PlayStation's official Twitter account and all their other social media accounts have officially announced that a new state of play is coming tomorrow. They gave us less than, well, exactly 24 hour notice. So let's give you the basics of the details here, the important bullet points. It's coming tomorrow, September 13th. Watch live to see new reveals and updates for PS5, PS4, and PSVR 2. M muy bueno, you know, as we say in Spain. Tune in tomorrow at 3 p.m. Pacific time, which is 11 p.m. British standard time, which happens to be my time, even though I'm not British. You know, maybe use some less offensive time zones, please. Sony PlayStation, thank you. There is a blog post to go along with that, so we will have a very quick look at that and get some more details. So we're going to see new games, updates, and reveals heading into Tokyo Game Show. Tokyo Game Show coming up soon, of course. So maybe they'll tease a little bit of what we're going to see here. It sounds like that's what they're going to do. So this is from Sid Schumann, Senior Director at Sony Interactive Entertainment Content Communications. So with the Tokyo Games Show just around the corner, it's almost time to celebrate the amazing creative contribution of the Japanese game development community. Stays of Play returns tomorrow, Tuesday, September 13th, with a new live broadcast. So for tomorrow's show, we'll have some great updates from our amazing Japanese partners along with a few other surprises from developers all around the world. So just so we get our expectations in check, this will be focused on Japanese developers. There will be others from around the world, but the, he the majority of this state of play is going to be centered on Japanese game developments. We're talking the likes of Capcom, Namco. I mean, there's loads. What would pique our interest as PSVR 2 enthusiasts? Of course, if we see Capcom there, are they going to talk about Resident Evil 4's PSVR 2 mode? Maybe they go into that a bit more. Maybe we'll see some more Resident Evil 8's PSVR 2 mode. But there's definitely a lot of questions to be answered with Resident Evil 4. Then, of course, there's first-party stuff from Sony's Japanese. Like, they're running low on Japanese talent at the moment, but we know they got a big one in Team Asobi, so an Astro Bot sequel, perhaps. Something like that would be a, maybe a nice time to tease that. So expect around 20 minutes of reveals, new updates, and fresh gameplay footage for 10 games coming to PS5, PS4, and PS4 2. 10 games, 20 minutes. Of course, we don't know how... Will that be an even breakdown? Two minutes each. And for all we know, we might just see one PSVR 2 game. Who knows? I mean, it could be anything. But they've confirmed PSVR 2, which makes me very, very happy. Very, very excited. And I'll be doing my best to stream that live on this channel that you're watching right now. So we can uh, enjoy some of that PSVR 2 goodness together. So that is it for this video. Let me know what your thoughts are about this in the comments below. Is there any game in particular you're excited about? Is there any potential Japanese developed PSV or 2 games that you think we might see? Uh, or just anything in general, I guess. I mean, Firewall Ultra has recently been revealed. They did say we would see gameplay soon. Could this be where we see it or is that too soon? Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video. If you want to stick around for PSVR 2 or Firewall Ultra in particular, then maybe consider hitting the old subscribe button and sticking around. We'll be doing lots more content based on those things in the near future. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, stay nice and moist. Petrifying pumpkin.